Hello guys, this is UK Chaos here, and today guys, we are back on Fallout 4 right now, um, need to check something here, on my mic here, that may be turned around about there, there we go, my mic might be a bit more low, I don't know, <laughs> uh, I was just doing something on my mic and I didn't change it, and stuff like that, and there we go. Uh, what we're we doing on, on Fallout 4? Some building, to be honest with you. Some some little bit, bit of buildings and shit like that. Um, you're going to see something slightly different and everything like that, really. Um, I, I have to, not have to, I am going to back some footage up and stuff like that. So if you see on every friday you see something different about the settlement it the reason is i have that footage backed up i'm just waiting on stuff like that uh what i'm gonna do here is to fix my display here yes i like to redo that uh display capture uh, this Yes. Back in there, there's so much stuff in the way. <laughs> uh, down to there. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, get out of the way, you. I don't need you. Yeah, I'm. I, I love to build on Fallout 4. I have been playing Fallout 4 since day one when it came out on the Xbox one i think it was i think it was yeah xbox one yeah um since then i kind of played on i'm a console player and moved myself up to pc and here we are <laughs> on pc um so yeah yeah on next friday guys you might see this settlement slightly more different you can call it um because I'm not going to go into the reasons why I'm doing this, but I will be backing up footage and stuff like that. I'm trying to give you some more content. Bef I I, ha I will be taking in probably possibly in two weeks time ish. We'll be making or uh, not me. Uh, I'll be uh, I won't be on the internet that much, so I'm going to back up my f uh, not back up. Just record a lot of stuff and building, doing everything like that. Um, I'm having fun, I'll be honest with you, I'm having fun right this minute on this game. If you're curious all the mods I have, this is all the mods I have. I have a lot of mods in this. Uh, overall, installed mods is 170, but total mods is 186. And total plugins are 240 plugins, guys. Insane much, but nah, mate, it's not insane for me. That is as normal for me. That is, I don't, I will just install mods after mods after mods. Yeah, I see most people on YouTube do like Fallout 4 with playthroughs and stuff like that. Um, I, li I like to build. I I did this once, like once before when I did the uh, when I played this game the first time around when it did came out the fresh release and I have played vanilla style like four times and when mods came out introduced and everything like that I'm like is this gonna be a good thing or a bad thing? It was a good thing, let's say. Uh, I was I was excited when it came out, man. I'm I still am, man. I'm still stunned of the modding community on Fallout 4 like I I, I was playing uh, like Fallout New Vegas on PC heavily modded but that modding scene was just insane then when Bethesda announced Fallout 4 then a couple of months after that they announced a mod support on console that blew my mind. I, I was like, oh my god, what? How is this gonna work? And stuff like this. 
what be what I think about Fallout 76? Well, that's a joke to me. Um, to me, that ain't a Fallout game. I, I feel like Fallout 76 ain't a Fallout game. They should call it like Vault 76 or whatever, but they should not put Fallout in front of it. To me, a Fallout game for me is single player and you can make your own characters in it. Yeah, like, I, I, I love single player, like where you can have your own story and stuff like that. Like, I, I never thought I would like Fallout 4 because it, it was adding something new, like building settlements and stuff like that. When I, when I heard of it, I'm like, wait, this could, this, this could work some ideas in my head. I'm still getting ideas off this game, man, and I'm insane. Well, my God. <laughs> um, yeah, so. My, I'll be honest with you right now, my first ever Fallout game, you can call it, will be... I start playing Fallout, or the Fallout name, at Fallout 3. I think a year after Fallout 3 came out on 360. I have it, I have it, I think I have it on uh, two copies of it. Sorry about this. Uh, two copies of Fallout 76, uh, not Fallout 76, Fallout 3 on Xbox 360. I think I have an Xbox One, but I can't remember. Um, I was tempted to buy it on on PC, but I didn't. <laughs> um, yeah, there's uh, we got to do a lot of explaining. I did, I am not going to show this off in the stream right here. That's more for the video side of this. Um, oh, yeah, the books there, friend. Um, if you're wondering what I want building, I am building like a fun little vault you can call it with a little bit of a backstory and stuff like this and everything like that so yeah um everything modded uh, there's a little hint right there on my arm if you know what that that, that logo is well done you know your fallout <laughs> that's my goal um i'm an enclave fan hands up i'm i'm totally fine with that I, I I much prefer Enclave. The Brotherhood, I, they're, they're, they're tricky. They're tricky people, they are. Enclave don't really have a good name. They always have a bad name and stuff like this. And I don't like it. I, I, I like to play a Fallout with the Enclave and finally sow the light of it. <laughs> It's kind of annoying how you can play as the Enclave in Fallout 76. But what? <laughs> uh, I'm one thing about 76 or Fallout 76. I am um, waiting for them to announce this single player, uh, like DLC, you can call it. I'm waiting for that, then I can jump on 76. Then and hopefully, uh, it's not that much annoying really uh when i say single player like where well, you can have your own dedicated server and stuff like that and i can don't get in interrupted because to i must say to me no i must say that game has good storyline but it doesn't have good storyline <laughs> that does not have a storyline at all <laughs> i i i'll be honest with that i um, Yeah, Fallout 76 are, is planning to get a single player, but it's not like a true single player. It's it's you you have it's like if if you ever played Ark Ark Survival, you have your own dedicated server where only you know you know the password and IP addresses and stuff like this. That is when I say single player. That is a single player title. But anybody can join you if you got the right password and if you know what you're doing and shit like that. That's that that's not like true survival kind of deal. But I don't know how they're gonna do it. Really, to be honest with you. Really, they, they really turn the Fallout name inside out like four times over, and they they have to have a lot of work to repair that game. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Uh, uh, that's the only way I can see they can fix uh, Fallout 76, really, to be honest with you. 
I, I really want to get myself back into New Vegas again, but I, I just don't. I don't want to get into a game like that right now. It's, it's fun, don't get me wrong. I haven't played it for a long time. But I think I need to. Uh, what, what are you? So you're grey. I even I don't know what's going on in this place. Um, if you wonder how I raise these up, I use a mod place anywhere. I think it was not not a place anywhere. No. Uh, oh bloody hell! What's that mod called? Now it's hotkeys or something like that. Come on, you can do it, game. Okay, I'm not gonna do it for me. I'll make you do it. Uh, yeah, place anywhere is so powerful in this game. I oh, know, like, this is the weird thing is, I'm trapped in this vault. Only way I can get out of this vault is using a different console command to get myself out of this place. Then I have to use another, like, console command to get myself back in and yeah, stuff like this go. this game has its fun bugs let's say it's actually not i don't think it's the mod office fault but like weird if you don't know what you're doing with console commands and stuff like that it's not fun really also i have broken fallout 4 in multiple titles or multiple ways and it was fun um i i will i, I love when i break games and stuff like that it's it's, it's quite fun um i think yeah, i'm just trying to i'm just trying to work out um this really um I, i'm I, i'm developing three different areas with three different ideas and stuff like this so this is my thought plan right here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna run this through. I'm, uh, this is the idea of what I've been working over the couple of days with my nose getting blocked. Um, so let's just uh, go to the entry point of this whole time vault um, and talk uh, my thought plan and stuff like this. I need to open that door also. <laughs> oh, that door's still not open right now. Right, uh, my, my when I say my thought plan, I kind of got like a little story. Go back to this little vault and stuff like this. Um, so crack that door open, right here. Right, this is the entry point of Vault ninety eight. Yeah, ninety eight. Wow, what a guess. I would normally say ninety five. <laughs> right, uh, my thought plan is this. Right, the Enclave. Uh, heard about uh, quite close to the Commonwealth, can't the Commonwealth? No, not Commonwealth, DC area, and the Enclave asked uh, Voltec to have a little spot in the vault, but Voltec refused that option. So instead, Enclave built a vault in a vault kind of deal, and it was like if you ever played, uh, if you played Fallout Four. You have the cryo chambers and stuff like that. That's how the Enclave got to the certain point. These are like elite soldiers of the United States and stuff like this. They only woken up to this disaster, really. Like they was cryonetic uh, frozen, cryo cryo frozen. You can call it cryo frozen a year before the Great War happened. Uh, just in case this event ever happens, it did happen. So, Voltec built a standard vault, you can call it, uh, but it's got overrun by raiders and everybody. Really, that's the first stage of the vault. The second stage of the vault is more where Voltec kind of uh, excelled, you can call it really, and that's where more of the control vault is. Then the third stage of that is where the Enclave is, and Enclave controls all the vault now. But it's only them who are is protecting the vault, really, in this day and age. So if we come through entry point right here, I will go through the stages. Uh, this elevator was meant to lead somewhere else, uh, but I haven't uh, connected it really. Um, I, I, can't, I don't know if I'm going to do this. I might put this as the Enclave Vault. 
uh, to, to a third point into the vault but this is only on the outskirts of it you can call it so I don't know yet I'm gonna do with that yet uh, I might just remove it completely but I don't know yet um, so in here obviously the enclave but you don't know it's the enclave because the enclave doesn't state it's the enclave but by the uniform uh, what I'm using uh, this is militarized the Minutemen uh, uniform and you can find this at Cas the, the uh, settlement called the castle that's where you can find this uh, so yeah so this will be obviously the enclave uniform but without the enclave patch on the arm really because um, the brotherhood hates the enclave and we allow everybody in the institute brotherhood railroad and stuff like that we kind of like the enclave has more of a partnership with the institute but like this first stage of this vault is where everybody it's like a free for all really but the enclave is like the law and the police officers and stuff like that and yeah why is that like that i have no clue um let me just unlock the door here <laughs> um so yeah so let's unlock this door really um there we go so that don't be coming handy really um let's 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 continue from here uh so through this door will be a line where this door obviously going to be closed uh where you line up to apply basic citizenship off foot basic citizenship to get into this vault or if you just want to do trading or trade with somebody in this vault you still have to go through this checkpoint but if you're just going to come here to see a trader or whatever you just say it and they will escort you to the trading area only and stuff like that so this is a small little checkpoint where you can go past these doors where uh, you can go straight to the trader but if you want to play for citizenship these are the offices to play for that sort of stuff and yeah so this were the first stages and let's go to the second area uh, this is where more of a security is and stuff like that where like, well, it's gonna obviously have metal detectors and stuff like that um, people are gonna line up and this guy will say uh, you are allowed in or not allowed in if you get denied you can go out and try again or if you try like three times in a row and you keep saying if the, the diagnosis comes down to say no you'll be escorted out the vault uh, for 48 hours and then come back again and try again really um craziness crazy business and stuff like that so yeah uh, that's one checkpoint in here and this is the first stage of the vault um so this is where the trading is going to happen and stuff like this and th this is like if you just want to go trading this is where you go and trade only um if you want to play for citizenship, you have to go through the office and through that security check and stuff like that. And you become a citizen and you will get a property in here. Uh, these two are the engineering area, like where the generators are and stuff like that. And if we come through here, this is going to be like where the plants be grown and crazy shit like that, really. Um, I haven't really developed it yet properly. Um, so I don't oh yeah that, nope that's a staircase going up goes nowhere um, so this like the trading area is like a straight line you can call it then the housing is at like an L shape really um, well there's no houses on here I have no doors open here am I really joking me um, that's a gender closet. I really don't have any. Oh wow, this whole entire bit right here is closed off completely. I should not. Uh, so let's go up the stairs right here. Uh, the first door will lead you to the maintenance, uh, maintenance only. This is where the enclave soldiers can run around the vault ASAP if they need to be on the third floor of this vault go to the VIP area that's where the control vault is or the main vault area um, where the enclave is um, stuff like that really um, so yeah the staircases just keep going up this is only the only point up or down in the vault really 
Um, so yeah, if you want to, if you like, if you want to apply for like going into more the vault tech kind of vault, kind of a bit more high tech and more security and stuff like that, you gotta pay really. You gotta pay a fee and keep paying it really. Uh, this is the checkpoint to get into the second stage of this vault. This is. Uh, where Voltec kind of didn't develop this place really, they only started out with the first area that the Great War happened. So this was cornered off at one stage of the Vault life and the Enclave uh, woken up from the cryogenic and they didn't realise what happened in the uh, world. Uh, they got the stress call from, um, from Fallout 3, I'm trying to think of the place now. Raven Rock, uh, Raven Rock fell, and so the Enclave, this faction of the Enclave got woken up because of the nearest like faction, nearest group. So they got woken up all forty people. Oh, forty? Uh, there have been forty, but I haven't got them forty down yet. There have been forty people uh, woken up from there, and they went to Raven Rock, and they found out what happened, and they came back, and go from there really they, they thought it was the last uh, remaining of enclave they heard the enclave had a bad name and stuff like this so they went out and seek to make the enclave name more greater more good and stuff like that that's where today is really um the brotherhood are still hunting down the enclave but the enclave is hidden away they don't know the third stage of this vault they will never touch it and stuff like this so um there's only probably three entry points to the enclave vault really it's through this point that point or that point i don't remember before really in that elevator over there but i don't know yet <laughs> don't know about that elevator yet man so this is where the enclave took uh interest in this vault so what they did uh, is work secretly in this vault and they obviously wore this off, uh, this was a wall, they made the vault behind the vault and the raiders had no clue what was going on in the background and they got ran out of here you can call it so the raiders ran from this spot, from this spot and the only controls it and stuff like that and the enclave making this vault better the brotherhood doesn't know who did it and stuff like this and so yeah so this is the more the more high tech of the vault really um so i'm still working on it really making more houses and stuff like this and the houses look like this uh in here nice uh square really one bedroom and stuff like this i'm I'm most likely gonna put that more like in residential area, really, where bigger houses are and stuff like that. But I haven't got round to that. So if we keep going around here and go past this point, so yeah, that's the second stage of the vault, and the third stage is the final stage, where it has three level, uh, almost like three levels of security. This is like a gender closet, and behind the gender closet there is a door, a secret door and only the enclave will have permission to get into this vault uh, bit area and that's just where we are right now that's where we started the stream guys off in this area it's crazy and uh, so uh, this is just been quiet and for many of years and yeah and they woken up from shit really <laughs> so this is the like the main generators and stuff like that. Uh, if I flick that switch, the light should be turning off, but I guess not. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was meant to work. Okay, I'm guessing that is kinda weird. Uh, this is obviously the reactor room for this whole entire vault, really. Um, it's like a sealed vault or sealed, like, uh, reactor as two big reactors in here and people can work on it at any time or the enclave mainly and um, so it's more like a like airlock you can call it keep it open through the clothes kind of deal make sure the radiation doesn't leak out and stuff like that 
And if we move on to the next location, this is the big hydroponics, you can call it the big hydroponics area. In here it has uh, three stories, I think it has. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this has three stories, so they're all like the identical over and over again. Uh, so, yeah. And if we move on to the next area over here, this is where the uh, purified water is going to be and stuff like this. What is down here? I never seen what's down here or nothing. Oh, god damn it's murky. Where's the exit? <laughs> Give me the exit. Let me out, let me out. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this is the obviously where the water place is, slash hydroponics. This is more the business end of this whole tire vault, really. But the vault people don't know about this side of the vault. They don't know where the power comes from. They think that small little power plant over there runs the whole tire vault. It doesn't. It's the Enclave who kind of dishes out everything. Security, uh, making sure everybody stays in check really they've like the police and shit like that really and so we're back where we are again um but let's i'm gonna work on that area um the more scenic really um scenic would that be a word would that even be a word a scenic i don't know it's where these people are really um Slightly bit more the family homes and stuff like that, really. The, 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 these are the second stage, they're more like business ish, trying to keep it uh, functioning as a, a proper salmon. Uh, the first stage, it, it's I'm gonna say it's not, it's like you don't have to pay to stay into this vault, you're only paying a fee like paying for electricity or the water or anything like that, really. Um, pay a bit of the like the the rent you can call it to keep you secure in the vault and stuff like that. And if you like that sort of stage, you can go from there. And if you want to give more to humanity, that's how you can move up in the uh, ladder. You can call it really. Um, so then you'll get entered into the second stage. In the second stage, it's more how to run the vault. Um, only like a handful of people know the true identity of this vault, but it was it's more high off the enclave ranks and stuff like this. And that is my theory. Then, you if you really really want to do this third stage, you will have to dedicate everything to join the enclave ranks uh, because we have to the, the enclave have to find out if you are a spy for the brotherhood really and so the enclave is quite hidden in this one spot <laughs> um, i like doing this yeah um yeah no, these don't meant to be here awesome um uh, yeah, so that's my thought plan, really, on this, uh, my little settlement, really, you can call it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, is my snap fixed? Oh, not again, not again, not again. This always happens. I don't know how it happens, but something just does not want to work. Um, so we gotta fix that now. Another way to fix this is completely go off the game and restart the game and stuff like that. I don't know why it does it. I I really want to know, but I, it's, it's it's slightly up there in annoyances. You can. But at least the second time around when it loads up, the second time at least it goes quicker, I can say. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on now. Maybe <laughs> hey, get game. Load it. Load it. Load it. Also, talking about like Bethesda games, I have been playing like a Bethesda, uh, another Bethesda title. Uh, the two Rage games, Rage 1 and Rage 2. I haven't completed Rage 2 yet, but Rage 1 I have completed and that was quite amazing. I never thought I would like a game like that. Um, but one thing I might think in doing, I might. Um, do I got hiccups now? Um, I'm thinking about buying Doom because I can't, I don't know why, but Rage got me into the Doom theme. I don't know why. Like the first Rage game, 
for me, it was more fast paced. The game wasn't helping you out the most. But in Rage 2, the game feels like it, it gives you like two hands on one one subject really it gives you like two helping hands and it just helps you out too much in the game i play on the hardest difficulty because i thought it might be more challenging no it's not it's simple it's, it's simple mechanics has bethesda slip over time so i don't know but the first rage game was amazing i recommend it my play of first rage it was quite good um, I don't know if I want to play it again. Um, if you want to see Rage, let me know, guys. Uh, any of the Rage games, Rage 1 or 2. I don't mind doing it again. Um, it's it's kind of like fun, kind of deal. Uh, but it's like, eh, it can be annoying. It can be annoying. Also, is that bolt action on two different... Oh my god, I didn't know that. So that bolt action rifle can handle left or right handers. Huh, I never knew that. That's cool. I have never noticed that. Oh, now I know. I was wondering that. What would the people who want to fire like a bolt action, uh, like rifle, if they say they're left handed? How would they, like, my my thought plan, how do they rack the gun, or reload it, or not reload, it's like, yeah, it's racking, like, where you put a chair, bullet in the chamber, and that's like, cut back, or whatever you want to call it, I always want to know how they, how they did that, if you're right-handed, yeah, not left-handed, left-handed's normal, I think it's the common, right-handed, that's the one, yeah, right-handed side, people, always wondering, because, <laughs> for me, if I ever hold a gun, I will hold it on my right side and cock it with the left. I just always wondering that. Now, yeah, that's that kind of got my eyes open up now. So if you're left-handed, so you cock it with your right. Huh. And you're shooting your left. That, that, to me, now, this is just... <laughs> Kind of, kind of spiraled, kind of spiraled right now for me. <laughs> my brain, my brain works in mysterious ways. I just can't stop thinking about it now. I, why can't I not stop thinking about it? I'm, I'm, not, I'm trying to work out now what else guns have that feature or not the feature. How, how does, how does one work? <laughs> I, like my brain just went to a different place and it's, it's there right now. <laughs> uh, right, let's see if my snapping's gonna work here. Not that, uh, what that. Uh, yep, snapping works, cause if it's gonna work there, it's gonna work there. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I'm very sorry guys if my head just went in the weird tantrum. Um, <laughs> it was quite fun. For me, it's quite entertaining when I watch back these and I kind of like what the fuck <laughs> where did my brain go <laughs> oh god damn it um i'm trying to think oh. um, what the fuck? okay if you're curious uh, if you never have this mod it's a uh, lovely vault 98 and i i sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work and that's one of the times it doesn't work for me I had this working once properly, but that is down. I just realized also, is my game? Yeah, my game is working still. <laughs> I just realized that now. Imagine that all this time it wasn't working. That'd be kind of funny. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. sometimes this mod works, sometimes this mod don't work, and it's kind of like, uh, tricky. A bit tricky, but... Um, it's I I don't know what this game is gonna bring to me. Um, I'm trying to think here. How would I do this now? Because I only have three stories at my disposal in this area right here, the small little place. Um, do I just want to go screw it, make standard houses, and keep it like that? Or do I? I just make my own. Um, 
One thing, I, why the only reason why I'm thinking of this idea, um, let me just go to this here, prefab homes, and I go to this, requires power. Does he even snap? Oh yeah, they do snap like that, that's amazing. Uh, so my, like I said, I don't know if I want to go simply this style and everything is almost laid out. You have two bedrooms, uh, one bathroom in here. <laughs> I, could, I could remember where everything goes. Where does this even connect to? Ah, to the side right there. Okay. Um, like, I, I, do I really want to go with that? Because that'd be kind of cool. I have not used this mod properly. Um, uh, come on, game. Uh, I need to let the game load up a little bit here. Also, one thing I didn't realize, I didn't turn my flashlight on in this game. Um, what the fuck is these? Hmm. What's these? Is this just a s oh yeah yeah this is, might be more ideal really um same layout um but without the side door and that, that garage kind of uh, yeah a lot of garage area huh that is what like this oh my god I just realised something else kind of funny this. This is like, yeah, yeah, this is sanctuary assets and shit like that. Wow, this still has, well, that's a, oh yeah, this is the one bedroom one. Nice. Quite interesting. Special homes, what's in the special homes? Uh, ooh. That looks fancy. Damn, this looks fancy. I fucking like the look of this. <laughs> it looks amazing, this does. This, I might go for special, this special one here. Uh, cabins. Uh, no, that's only one. Uh, I'm just trying to see. Uh, I only has a one bedroom also. Um, what does this, what is this? What the hell are you? The fuck? <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, this looks fancy. This looks super fancy. Um, yeah, I might, I might go for this instead. One of these, like, couple of these houses, chilling. Uh, does this have the side door? Yes, it does. Do we have one? Without the side door, now I'll ask the question. Um, is that the one I like to look off? Um, I just need to put it down. Yep, that's the one I want. That's the one I want. Um, because it has nice looking everything, really, man. Like a nice kitchen, living room, dining room. Um, so, let's just save it. <laughs> right, let's make road layouts. Uh, before we do the road layout, let me see how big one of these houses are. That's the real question. Because <laughs> if my, if this is on like a two story property, I still have a third layer or third story house left over. Um, so you take up three? You take up three, don't you? Yeah, let's say you take up three. Yeah, I'm just gonna line it up quickly. One, two, three. Three and a half, as you can say. Uh, this is. Yep, this will work then. Yeah, yeah, this will work with a nice little backyard in the back. Awesome. Alright, if I snap it into her. 
Wait. Store buildings. Uh, in. I need paintbrush. Hmm. Huh, drugstore. Hardware store. Ooh, look at that bloody building. That looks fucking dapper. Uh, I think they have, yeah, he's a three story man. These are some fucking crazy properties. My days, this looks amazing. Wow, holy shit, yeah, three story building. Damn. And I still have room. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, no cabins. What the f Oh my god, this is a sports place. Uh, not a sports place. A swimming pool. Oh, what? No, it was okay. That was not. Oh, this is the swimming pool bit area. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What the fuck is this going to? This is. What? <laughs> what the. What? What is going on in here? This is just madness. This is... I have not seen these assets, let's say. I I don't know what anything is. What is... What the... What the fuck? What? Why is... What? what? Why, why do we need so many floors? No floors. So many rooms. In one boom. One room? One building. <laughs> Uh, okay, was expecting that. I was not expecting that. Um, I don't know, like, the end. I, I don't know what that is. Blue paint, a uh, paintbrush, and a paint can. Um, blood can. What the fuck is a blood can? Paintbrush, blood can. Let's go with blue and uh, blue paint, blah blah blah. Uh, dirty. Hmm. Oh, where? More special buildings. Oh, he's the buses. I always wonder what the fucking buses is. <laughs> oh, it is. There's the engine. What? Buses have four engines? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I see you, game. <laughs> oh, my days. Uh, what's in here then? Uh, church. CIT. No, that's not. I don't want CIT. Um, high tech? What's in high tech? Is there no like constructive buildings? I have no clue about this mod either. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I got sidetracked it. <laughs> Very easily. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. That's, that's who I am. Uh, if, uh, if I put anything on me, I, I'd be that person. I'm like, ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, look at all of this. <laughs> I just freak out for no apparent fucking reason. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about like people. Mm. Mm. Trying to think. Trying to think. Trying to think. Here. Do I want to go cray cray on the building? Um. When I say that, I make my own building. Make it like kind of unique and stuff like this. Uh, instead of prefabs. Uh. I don't. No, I don't know. <laughs> a lobby. What the fuck's in here? That looks cool. Whatever that building is. Mm. Ooh, big door. <laughs> big door. Fucking hey man, I get I get very easily sidetracked. Oh my okay. Small town. 
Interesting, huh? Huh, very interesting. Very interesting, that bit. Um, brick wall with wallpaper. Oof. Oh, Jeepers, this is just getting all my days. I have no clue what I'm doing anymore. Oh, one of those. Two story building. Ooh, two story. Two story. It's a two story. I reckon I even I can't fucking be English anymore. <laughs> um, the staircase is over here. Um, up the stairs. Uh, big open door. Heist. Heist? Nice to meet you. Not heist to see you. Nice to meet you. Not heist to see you. Why is the. I don't understand why there's a big hole in the wall. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, this is. I know what these are now. The basic uh, houses. These ones are. Um, that's not basics. That's bloody high, high tech to me. <laughs> uh, oh, there's no upstairs. <laughs> oh, that's disappointment. Really, there's no upstairs. No, guess not. Guess that's not one of those. Uh, what the bloody hell is this? Edges. What's the edges? Oh, these will come in bloody handy before. <laughs> Quite edge. They will come in handy. <laughs> uh, it's it's very tricky. I don't know if I want to go with custom built house myself. I know I can do it, but I don't know if I want to do it. That's the downside for me. Um, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And the game just stops. Oh my days, what do you wanna do? What do I want to do? I don't know what to do guys here. I do not know which one to do. And my asteroids are dying. Great. Greenhouse. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, peel. Ah, makes nice. Uh, let me charge my asteroids up here guys. Uh, you go there. Let me drag my cable across the floor. Right, that's charging. <laughs> um, fence is nope. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to go custom built house. I give it that much right now. Crafting mm. food, storage, defense. Um. Uh, I can give. What was it now? Blue. Oh, blue yeah, what, how, what? What did I need it for that now? Um, trying to think. I know it was a paintbrush, paint can, and a blue, uh, blue paint. Um, this is how I get my stuff. Also, when I'm building crazy buildings like this, um, blue paint, paintbrush, paint can. Holy shit, how do I always forget that? Um, miscellaneous? I will have zero fucking clue. Empty can. I have never looked for this sort of stuff. Yeah, I just spotted it just then. Where was that? Paint. Oh, blood can. Uh, paint can. Paint brush, a little paint. Let's get a blood can. Let's get a couple of blood cans. 
that it sounds so weird but blood is blood can is red paint um let's take some of these paint can and paintbrush well, let's see what these look like these might as well get better every fucking paint why not Cause you never know when you need it. Alright, there we go. Spin the room, then I know when the game loads. Damn, I'm a rhymer. <laughs> I never thought I would say something like that. Oh, now we have to wait like the pain sake a minute or two. For this game to load. Yeah, that's why I don't like them on the build menu. Cause, boy, it takes some time. <laughs> I, I don't know if the game froze. No, it hasn't froze. I'm just trying to move my character. The character don't move. Right, there we go, loaded. That fucking time. <laughs> right, uh, which model was on the, this one? Not that, no, no, come on. <coughs> Excuse me. Player home? No. Look at that. A little circuit board inside. That's kind of fucking funny. Yeah, these are, these are very small. So where does the cable come from then? No, oh, right there. Yeah, I don't like... Ooh. 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 Can I keep saying that word? Ooh. Ooh. Oh my days, this is, might be promising. Oh, I want to say there's a big hole here. Right, no. No, no big hole. Oh my, oh my days, this just keeps on giving. <laughs> Why does this keep on giving? Oh, we're getting full circle. Um, any more floors? What the fuck? Oh, that's a power bit. And this is the top floor. Oh my god. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's quite large. Don't get me wrong. Cabin. Everyone's a cabin. <laughs> uh, special halls. I don't know why, but I'm getting drawn to this one place. Uh, come on. Yeah. There we go. Uh, just because I know there's easily one bathroom in here. Also, doesn't have the storage closet. I just realised that now. Um, so it has two, uh, two bedrooms so far. I see. So this can be easily modified. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just. I'm just trying to work out everything, really. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of those. Uh, the garages, I don't need garages. Um, what does this one look like? Uh, this is the larger one, obviously. Uh, wow, holy shit, this leads into the bathroom also. Okay, or. Oh, well, that could be. No, that can't be that sweet. Um. Ooh, tricky, 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 tricky. More fucking tricky. Um, oh, 
What's in here? Um, don't have to divide them all right there, but this is the one I feel more confident in the world. No, it's not. Uh, God damn it, this is so difficult. I hate this decision. <laughs> oh, God, what's in here? What's in here? What's in here? <laughs> Residents. Large floors. What's in large floors? Absolutely nothing. Also, very turned around, also. That is some ugly ass fucking flower. One mod I just realized I can use in hell. Master plan go to another cabin in the woods. Castles in the sky. Do we have any prefabs? That's it. What the fuck? Okay. Wood castles, towers, wall, structures, walls, miscellaneous. What's in miscellaneous? Absolutely fucking jilts. Uh, ceiling. Come on, give me. Oh, is this? Oh, wow, that's where the mod was hiding. <laughs> If you're curious, this is a mod I have installed. I have not found anything where it was located. Structures. Oh, that's stairs, not structures. Uh, yeah, this is one of the mods I have installed, and I don't know where it fucking was. Um, ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. It's pretty fucking cool. Ooh, look at that one. That's more bigger. Ooh. What the fuck is this? A tower top. A tower top. Huh. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm letting make myself laugh now, guys. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Me, stop it. <laughs> I am, I'm, I am just being, uh, questionable. <laughs> I have been, I've been very questionable. Oh, look at that! Prefabs, and there's a bag of shit. <laughs> uh, windmill. Ah. Uh, you have nothing in here. Uh, miscellaneous. A uh, well. And a stable. <laughs> we have no horses. Um, finishing. Oh. They do have to. Oh my days. I did not know they have their own furniture. Damn. Ooh, look at the beds. That bed looks fun. Um, vendors. Nice. This mod has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, cabins in the woods, they are terrible. Uh, vanilla. Wait, does vanilla. Oh crap. What mod does it have it? Uh, let me just, I can't remember, there's another, another a certain mod adds more variety to houses. I have zero clue what the mod was called. Um, what's in here? Prefabs. That's some cool, that's quite innovative, really. Put barrels on if your house. That is quite cool. <laughs> I'm amazed. <laughs> Call me impressed. <laughs> oh god. I make myself fucking giggle now guys. Um, I don't know what to do guys. I I firstly don't know man. Like I wanna try something different. Do I wanna go different? I don't know. This live stream is just just me being crazy. Um I I don't fucking know what to do. Elevators. I don't want to go for the elevators because we're not going to be in there. Because the wood texture is. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, the wood texture for me is um, is more better. Um, hope that makes sense. Because uh, I have like a retexture on. Damn, where the fuck is that? That is cool looking. What the fuck just add that? 
I have never noticed that one. Like I can go with these, but it's like it's very low class. <laughs> I what mod is that? What mod adds this? Cause I like the look of the floor. <laughs> ah, game stop lagging. Uh, that's carpet. Uh, keep going. See what wood. <gasps> ah, that's where it is, huh? That's where this is located. This adds like almost a circle. Oh, it's not not a circle. It's hexagon. What everyone in call it. <laughs> it's a funny looking shape. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that! That is some cool looking fucking foundation right there. Oof. This... This... This is like... Insane. I am... Just browsing now. I have not seen this before, guys. Um, I have zero clue where... Anything is. A gip. A gip? A gip. A gap. Filler, not gip. <laughs> Words, words are fun. <laughs> oh my days! I can imitate my own self. Um, that's doors. I don't know what to do. Um, so if I really wanted to, this mod, this one here is more like a rustic look. Um, it's more like a rustic look to everything. And that does not suit me yet. Um, I could do this and have bigger walls and stuff like that, but I don't know. There's a lot of decisions for me. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut the live stream here, guys. Um, it might be a slightly, uh, slightly uh, short, uh, but I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you whenever, guys. But if next time you see a settlement. It might be changed. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, stay tuned for that, guys. Hope you like this. Hope you like the live stream, guys. Hit that like button and hit that hit that subscribe button, guys. I have been UK Kelsey, and I catch you next time, guys. See ya and goodbye.